Wearing blue and having blue eyes isn't particularly dangerous, even lying with what's behind me. But a long, long time ago, in a place not that far away, it was very dangerous indeed. Once there was a bird who built a bower very much like this one. But he just didn't know when to stop and things kept getting out of hand. Luckily for us, eventually, he pulled back from the edge, which is why the sky is still blue. This is his story. Once there was a bowerbird who had a bower just like this one. And he was happy for a while. But then one day, just like the prodigal son in that old story Jesus told, he looked around and wanted more. More, he said to himself, which in bowerbird sounds like this. Everywhere he looked, he wanted Incredibly, the more he got, the more he wanted, and his obsession just kept getting bigger and bigger. And bigger still. And even bigger. Until one day, he finally had everything he could possibly want. Until, of course, he looked up. What happened next? Well, we only have to look up into the sky, or out on the street, or maybe even on our clothesline, to realise that eventually he came to his senses, just like the prodigal son. Well, the bowerbird was finally satisfied with enough, and the world was saved. How well are we doing with that as humans? I'll ask you about yourself in a minute, but behind me you can see a 4x4 four four metre mud brick hut. There's a deck that comes off the side of the hut, and on the other end of the deck there's a 4x11 metre shed. It's on the block of land that my family owns. My wife and two boys and I are thinking about whether that's enough for us. Could we move out here and live in that small space? It's about a quarter of what we're used to. Not just on a beautiful day like today, but when it's pouring with rain. How much is reasonably enough for a family of four in Australia? Well, if I'm back for the season of creation next year, I'll let you know what we discovered. But I'd like you to talk amongst yourselves. Think about all the things in your house, all the things you have, all the things you'd like to get. How are you doing with that challenge that confronted the bowbird? with working out what's enough. And if you're struggling with it, what are you going to do about it as a community of Christians?